All right, let's see if this works. I, I selected multiplayer. This is the first time I've ever done this. I don't even know what's going on right now, how this is going to work. But I clicked on this female icon that was on the map. That, that, that was the only thing displayed. Okay, connection to host was lost. Okay, I guess they saw I was joining, and they really didn't want to have anybody join them in their game uh, for multiplayer. But anyway, let's get on with our patrolling duties. Yep, welcome back, Officer Lopez. There's my time, shifts, uh, duty stars 17 out of 30. That's level four, Mountain Pot is my assigned district that I selected right now, so let's go uh, continue. And I am at 8.3 uh, update on uh, this uh, put, uh, police simulator uh, patrol officer. Okay, so. What I did last time is I, I selected the multiplayer option like this, and then I said selected join to see if there was anybody out there. No sessions found, so there's nobody playing anything right now, unfortunately, uh, that I could connect to. Uh, but let's close that. All right, so let's uh, let's go ahead and do some night patrol down here at the. Uh, We'll do a 30 minute shift actually 20 minute 25 yeah 20 minute because 30 minutes a long video to upload to my youtube channel so this is going to be um the historic downtown district uh and this is one of the biggest precincts around the, uh, so far that i know of uh, it has a huge admin office, and Mr. Crosslegs over here is always there with his legs crossed. Uh, boy, if he, if he ever decides to stand up, uh, I think he'd just fall right back down because uh, his leg would be... Officer, help requested oh. for an emergency. I'm on my way. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's get on this. Heck yeah. Right on, we got our... This oh. area has high criminal activity. Yes, I know. Ready yourself to show some police presence. Copy that. Copy that. We're going to take the little, little guy here. Turn the lights on. Turn that <laughs> siren, code 3, full code 3. Let's go. Let's get to that uh, emergency. First, I go see if there's any injuries. You okay? You okay? Oh, boy, that lives way up there. Oh, we got an injury right here. Whoa, you're way in down there, lady. Let's Five, an injured person an requesting an ambulance. That's first and foremost, is I go ahead and I see if there's anybody injured first. So we got one, two, possibly three vehicles involved. And I look for witnesses uh, hanging around. Uh, the next thing that I'll do is I'll go ahead and break out my barriers, my cones. Uh, one thing that I, I keep reiterating is this trunk, if you go too close, you can't open it, it disappears. you got to get at a perfect distance to open it, which is very frustrating. I wish they would correct that. No matter how close you get, so long as you're close up on it, whatever, it should still allow you to, to uh, open that trunk. Because, you know, that's frustrating when you have to be perfect at where you're trying to uh, place yourself to open that trunk. Okay, so good. We got the barrier up. I'm glad there's no cars coming right now. So let's go ahead and try to get some cones as well. So we can block my vehicle from any vehicles trying to... Ay, there we go. Ay, ay, ay. Ay, ay. 
Uh, come on, lady, jaywalking over there. With, you know. All right, let's see if we can play some cones over here. So uh, I got to see if there's a hot key for these cones because um, you know, I hate having to keep a hit, uh, holding the T key. Uh, yes, I'm great. That's good. I can put cones out here. Yes, I like that. Okay, so hopefully nobody comes through here. Uh, let's see. Put a cone out here. Yes, we can. Just to be safe, you know, because I have four cones, so. Here, let's see if we can put one here as well. Hopefully. Hopefully, hopefully. Maybe. Hopefully. Oh, it's because the barriers are. Okay, so we. I think we got it just about covered. That cone's just a little far. Go ahead and put this one here because I don't trust anybody coming through. Alright, so we got our cones. Uh, it's nighttime, so we have to get some flares to uh, secure the. Uh, oh! keep forgetting how the distance okay let's get some flares to secure the act the, it's not an accident because somebody's at fault right an accident is when you you hit a glass of milk or something that falls off the counter um, that's an accident these are traffic collisions okay the collisions vehicle collisions now I would never throw a flare this close to vehicles with gas probably floating down on the ground Never a good idea. Never do this. But they have a grid here for us to throw them at, so you got to get those flares out there to try to secure this uh, this scene. Right? I try to get all corners. One more. So this corner should do it right here. Hopefully. Yep. Uh, secure the scene. You see that green line? That means everything is good to go. But just to be you know, safe, let's go and throw the last one there. Why not? Why not? Just get rid of that, okay? Alright, so the next thing I do now, like I said, I see if there's any witnesses standing around to interview them first. To get Hi. the uh, hello. Hi, citizen. To get the uh, scoop from them before I interview these people. Uh, I don't see any, so what I'll do next is I always go to the, the utmost person vehicle and and uh, driver because once I finish checking them I and if I have to arrest them I can always call for a tow truck to take this vehicle out in a way leaving that vehicle right over here you know to deal with and yeah it has a broken windshield now, I always look at the license plate because look they're expired you don't really have to but uh, you know hopefully it keeps it, another one expired hopefully it keeps it in the computer database which I heard it does. I don't know. We'll see. Okay, so let's start our interviewing. Get Let me know what way. you saw. That person was driving very fast. It's dangerous, officer. Okay, all right. Well, that's your opinion for now. So at least uh, we know from you that's uh, what's going on. So now I'll interview the second person. Tell me what you saw. I did not drive over the speed limit, officer. Okay, uh, we'll see about that. And we'll see how it goes. And uh, we'll go to the next driver interview her tell me what you saw Good. i'm still in I've shock all uh, i need There's to get my head right around the sidewalks that saw anything so and i talked over her so I, i'm sorry i didn't let you hear what she said uh my fault okay so now that we did that the next thing i do uh, is i take out my camera and start photographing the whole scene uh, and instead of asking them for all the details of uh, their license and checking if they have any drugs on them or you know any of that stuff. I go ahead and start taking photographs. Get the scene, uh, you know, get the scene all documented. Okay. I want to go ahead and document the scene first. Get all of this on record as soon as possible. Hopefully, more stuff going on there. Stuff going on there. See, of course, I knew I knew I had to get closer to really get those things popping out of damage. So, right. Well, well what's going on with this vehicle, man? This nothing happening. It's like pristine condition right there. So, what's up with that? Okay. Did that person? Did she just stop because she saw what was going on? Okay. Reported sufficient. That's good, but not good enough for me because Mr. Keith Sr. here is very thorough. I do a thorough job. I want outstanding. I don't want just good enough here. I make sure I have 
complete report. Did you see those things you could have missed? See those things that could be missed? You want to be real thorough on your photographing. Sometimes you find things underneath the cars too. See that, like that. Look, at see that thing was hiding under there, that mirror? You gotta be very cautious. Oh, look, see, we found something over here too. Cracked stuff. Very thorough, very thorough. I do a complete investigation here. I don't do a half-assed job. No, no, not Mr. Silva. Okay. So it looks like everything is pretty well documented. So I think that I, there's nothing going on with this car, okay? I don't see anything happening. I don't know. Sure. Yeah, in the sand, okay. Everything looks pretty good. It looks in the green. Nice. All right, very nice. I think I captured everything. You guys see anything missing? Did I miss something? No, that's a line. That's nothing. I know you probably said, oh, there's something right there. No, that's a line. That's just the paint scheme of uh, the street. Okay, sometimes back in here you might find something that didn't pop out. Okay, everything's good. All right. Very, very thorough job. All right. Why not, huh? You got the time to do it. Just do it. Get a little closer. All right, buddy, it's time to check Would you please show out. me your driver's license and registration? Okay, officer. There you go. Now, another thing I keep saying in all my videos, oh, right there it says his ID is expired. So one thing I try to uh, just advise people of, uh, unless you want to and you just want to feel like you're an authentic police officer, is switching back and forth to their insurance and their, their ID or their driver's license. No need for that. Just hit the C key, the Charlie key. The Charles, Charlie, however you want to say it. So it'll tell you everything that's going on with this person. If you see red, then look at it because there's something going on, except when you see gun permit. For the most part, the gun permit is going to be a no. Occasionally, you'll find it where it says, like this guy, it says yes, or Mr. Matsuda. So as you can see, it says expired ID. He has expired registration. So you know those are the two things you're going to cite him for right off the bat, right? And, of course, you see his record. These are, so that, these are the two things I pay attention to majorly. Any red pop-outs, anything that pops out in red, except, like I say, the gun permit. Uh, you can worry about that if they you find the gun and they didn't have a permit, then they're in violation. But the second thing I look at that's important is their violation record. Okay, see how bad they are. Parking in zones, not very bad, okay? Parking in taxi zone. Harassment, drinking in public, okay. You know, you know, low to medium, so it's not too bad. So let's go ahead and get out of this. Give him back his his information here, his license and insurance. Uh, second thing I start doing is giving them the DUI test. So I just need to collect test. a sample to see if you're under the influence of any the illegal substances. Bar. It's in the yellow, but it's going to keep moving up. The more I do things, negative on THC and amphetamine. So let's go ahead and clear that. Now let's go ahead and give him a DUI uh, alcohol test here. Okay, let's just check if you're under the influence of alcohol. So you can see the progress meter moving up, little by little, slowly but surely. Okay, negative, zero, 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 everything zero. That's outstanding. Not even a trace of alcohol. Okay, so at this moment, I uh, go ahead and uh, stop talking to him. I go to the second person, the second driver, and I start interviewing her. Please show me your ID Doing and the vehicle the same thing insurance. as I did to the first driver. Here you go, officer. So I have a rhythm, I have a routine, you know, uh, so that you're not all running crazy, you know, skipping all over the place. Have a system, have a routine. So anytime you go to an accident, traffic collision, or any scene, you could go ahead and handle it very quickly. So this is more Car Karina Moore. All right, so go ahead and press the C key. Look for red. There's a red. Registration's invalid. Okay. Littering, driving, headlights, jaywalking, all that. Okay. Nothing major. She doesn't have any open warrants. Uh, female black. All right. So let's go ahead and give her back her license. One thing I forgot to do, uh, which I failed to do, is give a ticket to, um, oh, let me see, what was that again? Uh, registration. Okay. So we're going to cite her. I forgot to cite the, the first gentleman that I spoke with. So registration, uh, it's expired, so we're going to... Here's the ticket for, for having an expired license plate. That will be between $50 and $250. Okay. My lawyer will take care of it. So, yeah, she looks real sad. Okay, well, that's too bad. I'm sorry to hear that or see that. That person that sounds really... Yeah, okay, so let's go ahead and cite him, because I forgot to cite him for his uh, 
Let me see your ID and, if available, this vehicle's insurance, please. Now, sure, the reason why I asked for his ID and information again is because I still have in my computer system her information. So if I would have hit the C key, the Charlie key, it would have come up with her ID and her information. So now that I have his information, I'll look it up again. So his ID is expired and the registration. So we're going to give him a ticket for reg ID and, ex and registration. Okay. So let's go give that back again. Go ahead and cite him. I mean, you could cite him or give him a verbal warning. It's up to you. So we're going to ID is right here. I have to so find you for carrying an expired ID. And the reason why it I will cost you between seventy-five and a hundred dollars. Oh because come I get on! You know, you're trying That's to That's so much points. money. Yeah, it is. A lot, of, it's a lot of money if you don't have it. And we're going to cite him for the registration. Right? Well, let's, let's make sure. Registration. Yeah. Okay. You can always go back to the C key, Charlie copy or the computer key, and look it up. If you forget, don't don't be shy. Don't don't hesitate. Don't be afraid. Uh, so registration. So now we're going to go ahead. I have to fine you for having an expired license plate. So you it will cost sure you between fifty and two hundred and fifty dollars. Really? Well, that is so much money. I was gonna say, well, you got to make sure. I don't want it to sound so definite, like you have to do the way I do it. But I'd like to get these things out of the way before I start, um, you know, doing anything else <clears throat> in regards to you know arrest and all that. And because I'm so thorough, I want to make sure that. Um, that um, uh, the progress is in green, that it's a complete report. And just to be s s sure, I wonder, did I get that? Yes, okay, see? See how you could go back and just check things again? You don't have to say, oh, well, I can't do that. Or did I do it? Well, check again, you know, to make sure. Okay, so now I'd like to see your driver's ahead. license and car insurance, please. Uh, you know, yes, your, officer, you know, there you go. Check her out now. See, so I went to the front person first, then I go to the second one in the middle, then I go to the third one in the back. And then when I'm done with everybody, if there's no arrest or anything, then I'll go back to the person in the front. I should have a complete uh, report at that time. And they'll be super, super happy that I got a complete report. And if they have no violations, I'll let them go. If I have to arrest them, then I told the first car that's up front. It makes it so much easier than to say that you had to arrest the person in the back the third vehicle and then the tow truck the wrecker has to come and try to get the third vehicle which is going to be impeded by the first two vehicles in front of them so i hope you see where i'm going there and what i'm talking about so let's check her out on the computer all right her registration's invalid she has to see what i mean gun permit no jaywalking driving with broken windshield nothing major nothing terrible not too bad so let's cite her for non-registration okay Registration's in the car, always in the car, you'll find the registration. You're being charged and ticketed for between fifty and two hundred and fifty dollars for driving a car with an expired license plate. So much money for such a little infraction. I forgot to mention that there are times that I'll verbal uh, warn somebody. Uh, if they have, like, obviously, not obviously, but there, I believe one of these uh, drivers uh, didn't have any kind of record and I could have given them a verbal warning for one of the, the uh, sites that uh, they had wrong, uh, and I could have, and you still get points for it, so, <clears throat> so there's that. Um, okay, so now we're going to do the drug test to try to make this I'll uh, take a sample to check if you've taken drugs before driving. And if it doesn't get complete, then some, you overlook something. There you go. There it is. See how it all turned green? Because I did everything complete. Uh, check to see if anybody was injured, call an ambulance, go ahead and uh, question them first, get their, uh, you know, their statements of what happened, interview them, go ahead and take pictures of the whole scene very thoroughly. Um, of, of course, I forgot to, to mention, put your barriers and your cones out or block the traffic so they don't impede your investigation. But once you did all that, the cones and barrier and all that, you come back, you interview them, you take your photos, at least if you want to follow my system. Uh, you take the photos, then you go back and interview the first person up front of the front vehicle, then the middle, the second one, then the third, and the, and the last in the rear. Uh, so there's nothing there negative for amphetamines, THC. Go ahead and see if there's any alcohol. I'm just taking a sample to see if you've alcohol. been drinking and driving. Nothing. Okay, very good. Zero, zero, zero across the board. So everybody's pretty good to go here. Everybody's... Uh, 
not drinking or under the influence. So now what I'd like to do is issue them. Please a take your watch how happy report. they are. Such a comprehensive report will be very useful. Thank you, officer. You see? Okay. So I made a, a little mistake. I, I should have went to this guy first, like I mentioned. Go to the first person, then the second, then the third. So we're going to go and give him his report. Please take your accident report. Such a comprehensive report will be points. very useful. Thank you, officer. You're very welcome. Okay, so he was clear. No violations, no arrests, any reason for arrest. Uh, I, get, I did cite him and stuff, so he's free to go. You know, we don't have to search him or anything because there's no sus you know, probable cause or suspicion on this guy. So you let him We're go. We're finished here. You're free to go. And you know, Have a nice day and take if, care. If he could drive his vehicle away, then he'll drive it away. But if you see that he's just walking away and going to walk home or call a cab or whatever, you can't just leave that vehicle there, right? you got to call the tow truck come and get it. So the, the nice thing about it is, like I said, the, the vehicle's up front, so it's going to be easy for the tow truck to come and get this vehicle first. And then the second one, then the third one. So a second thing I want to uh, advise you all of, because his record was clean, he had no violations other than, you know, the tickets, the registration stuff, an ID, whatever. You don't want to go and search their vehicle because there was no problem cause. He didn't have any alcohol in the system. He didn't have no drugs. He didn't have no switch blades or anything like that. So you basically just want to go and have it I have a vehicle here that needs towing. 10 points. I need okay. a record at my current location, please. That's not a location that's easy to reach. It'll take yeah, some it time, but we'll take care of it in the next 24 hours. Are you kidding me? For real? Look at this wide ass street. Your shift is over, oh, officer. It's over. Okay, let's go ahead and get this thing care of. Let's complete this stuff. Okay, I. This is your now. accident report. This is an accurate report. Thank you. Okay, she's clear. You're good too. to she's go. Free to go. Drive safe and have a nice day. Okay, and if she walks off, then uh, we'll tow her car. So this car is, she's able to drive it, so she's free to go as well. Okay, Get, make sure you did give her the report before you let her go. You're good to go. Drive safe and have a nice day. Okay, so more like drive off so let's go back over here and good to see you again to... officer yes good to see you too let's go ahead and reach over there and see if I can hi there all right hi there buddy all right be good okay look at how terrible that crash was boy really pushed that up there didn't it um okay so we got to tow this vehicle as well I have a car here that needs towing Ten please send a tow truck to my current location Okay. A wrecker has already been dispatched to your location. Okay, very good, because at first they said that that's not an easy uh, place to get to. So, hopefully she's able to drive off, okay, and everything will be good to go. Uh, the wrecker, yep, I was going to say the wreckers might be uh, held up back there, as you can see. So, they didn't. They could have come from this side, right? But no, they didn't. The ambulances usually come from the front uh, part right there, which is good. All right, so let's go ahead and secure this scene. Let's go ahead and pick up our barrier, put that in the trunk, and remember with this vehicle, this mid-size one here, little SUV thing, you got to get just right to get that F uh, open trunk key coming out. If you get too close, it ain't going to open up for you, or if you go too far. Yeah, I know the cone's preventing the wrecker from getting uh, Okay, let's get this guy first. Then we'll get this guy. No, let the record go in there first. Uh, let me let me stop this person first. Wait. Yeah, you wait and let the record come. In. Let me tell you to wait too. Wait. I don't want nobody to go until the record gets through and picks up the vehicles. And once that's done, they go through. I know. I'll move my vehicle right now. Let me tell this car to wait. First. Stop. Okay, so I have all three cars stopping the, the rest of the traffic. So once I move my vehicle, the wreckers will be able to come through and and tow away those uh, vehicles that ain't drivable. So we'll wait around here for a little bit, around like this area right here, until you, we see the wrecker complete his task. out of his way because it's going to drive past there. 
So see how I held up the traffic right there so that they don't uh, impede with the towing of those vehicles. Now, where's the other wrecker at? Well, when I call for a wrecker on this vehicle, they say that's a hard place to get to, but they'll get to it when they can. So what I'm going to do now is go ahead and park my vehicle here, my patrol car. Go ahead and park it here. Get a little closer to the curb so that feel like they have to stop because I'm in their way. We'll get out and I'll go ahead and release the traffic. Okay, you're free to go. Keep moving! Oh, I should have went to this one first so that I'll get run over. Keep moving! Okay. Keep moving! Okay, there we go. So let's see if we've got traffic flow going. Okay, release some traffic flow. Nice. Hopefully we'll get the wrecker coming over and pick it up this vehicle. Sometimes what I have to do is I'll have to cancel the call and then recall again to have them come back. And so let's let's cancel it and then we'll redo it. And then sometimes they'll say, okay, they're on their way. Unlike the last time, they said that's an unreachable location. So I recalled the tow truck and let's see if we get one coming uh, over to pick it up this time. If not, no worries, no harm, no foul. It'll disappear on its own if no wrecker comes and gets it. So let's just go ahead and hop in our vehicle and continue our patrol. So our job is done here with this traffic uh, scene, this collision, this traffic collision scene. Uh, let's go ahead and turn off the lights. Jaywalking, huh? Okay, look how so much you go with that. I don't feel like getting off my vehicle again. I don't get in the far lane, I should. Oh, I realized I don't have my lights on. Okay. Bad on me. Go ahead and pull up just a little bit more. And what I like doing is I like scanning uh, vehicles. Uh, when I scan them, you can find that there's issues with them. Oh, he ignored the red light. There we go. Go ahead and pull over, buddy. You just ran that red light right in front of me. What's wrong with you? What, do you think you're invincible or something? Like, can't, can't touch this? You want to make sure that you pull your vehicle out just a little bit uh, to the side of that vehicle so that you're protected in case anybody slams into you. Usually what you like to do as well is you want to turn your wheels towards the curb into the other cars so that if they rear end you, your vehicle is not going to plow into the vehicle in front of you or into you. But unfortunately the wheels won't stay there. Uh, also, you want to make sure that you're a little bit further away from the car in case they do plow into you. Um, you won't uh, get slammed into right away. Okay, so these people, uh, check your license plate. Uh, they ignored the red light, so let's uh, go ahead and see what's going on here, why they did that. Hello there. Uh, you just ignored a red light. Why'd you do that? The reason I stopped you was because you blew through a red light. I should have driven faster. What the? Okay, lady, that's the wrong answer. Slowly step out of the out car, car and move to the sidewalk, please. Wrong answer. I'm not a bully or a tyrant or, you know, I don't, I don't just uh, stop people for the heck of it or, be, you know, have a power trip with the badge. I mean, that was the wrong answer. I mean, that was a rude answer. She, she was sarcastic, uh, you know, very rude. I wasn't rude to her, I was nice to her, so if she would have been nice to me, I would have been nice to her and not think twice about having her step out. But let's check to see what's going on with her. First of all, I want to issue her the ticket, right? For uh, ignoring the red light. So let's Here's a traffic light violation ticket. That will be between $120 and $250. I didn't expect it to be that expensive. She sounds really angry. It sounds too bad to me. I, want to go ahead and check her for some I just need to collect a sample to see if you're under the influence of any illegal substances. OK, 
Okay, negative on that. No illegal substances. Let's go ahead and check if you're alcohol. Okay, let's just check if you're under much. the influence of alcohol. Nothing. Wow. <laughs> All right. She was pretty angry, but so that gives us a probable cause of frisk. Kindly cooperate for a pat down. Maybe she might run away. She might have drugs in her. Nope, she didn't run away, so she's not hiding any. Oh, pocket knife. All right, not a switchblade, so that's not bad. I wish I could search her car. I bet you I'd find something. ID and vehicle ID. insurance card, please. Here you go, officer. All right, she's not running away, so she's not hiding anything. Well, at least for now. Let's see if she's... No, nope, she doesn't have a stolen ID. Everything looks good. Drinking in public, DUI alcohol, come on now. You And I didn't get uh, a reading of over the the alcohol limit with this lady. Green, 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 everything is green. See, that's how quick you look. Uh, you could you could scan these so quickly. Like I said, if you see red popping out other than this gun permit, and you see all green, then quickly all you got to do is go back to, you know, there and give her back her thing. She first looks nervous. Okay, well... I gotta let You're go. good to go. Drive I'm safe and have a nice day. I don't want to overdo it. The shift is longer overdue. Ooh, wow. I forgot. Okay, got to get back to the precinct. Go oh, ahead, lady. Be safe. Get back to the station. Shoot, they're going to conduct uh, points here. All right, where's my station at? Where am I? I'm over here. Okay, let's get back to where? Where did I start at? Your shift ended a while back now, officer. Yes. Return to the police station immediately. Okay, okay. Shit, man. Don't be so rude about it.
absent, right? Side. We want them taking points off of us. It's really nice to hold on to that 100 CP point. Get back to our desk. Hi, gotta say hi to Mr. Crosslegs. Because he just will not move there. He's like, like a monk that you'll just find under a tree meditating. Alright, so. There we go. Finish our shift. Well, I hope y'all enjoyed that one. I think I did. I had I had fun. I had fun on this one. It wasn't too bad. Ten out of ten stars now. Yeah, buddy. Love it. Where's my charger? Come on now. Where's my Dodge Charger? Oh man, these people are okay. I so there it is. So, like I said, I hope y'all enjoyed uh, this patrol. Uh, with yours uh, truly, Keith Silva Sr., uh, using Officer Danny Lopez uh, in the police simulator, patrol officer. All right, please uh, hit the like button if you like the video, and uh, subscribe if you want to see further content from yours truly right here. All right, everybody take care of yourself and others. Peace out, everybody. Till next time.